What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JR here. We are back with another video. And uh, today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, as I always say, we are going to test out this battery and just a couple different features on a, a new 16 Pro Max. Uh, so as you saw in my watch comparison video for the, well, if you go back and look at my other videos, I did a comparison for the Apple Watch Ultra and the Galaxy Watch Ultra as far as battery is concerned. So we're going to do the same thing with this iPhone uh, and the new Apple Watch Ultra 2 right here. I'm currently at 97% on my phone. Uh, I've been up for maybe about four hours, I think, and it's about 1036 now. So um, the watch is currently at 94%. I'm pretty sure these things still got to learn my usage patterns, so I'm not going I'm not going to dog them out too bad right now. But uh this will be good right here to see. So, I'm about to do my usual mile walk, you know, to break away from the desk for a minute. And um yeah, we're going to put this phone and the watch through the paces of, you know, heavy activity use uh throughout the day and I'm going to try my best to go <laughs> for testing purposes. I will not be putting this phone on the charger throughout the day we're gonna run it i'm about to watch some videos on youtube i'm about to you know probably look at some some episodes uh you know, gotta check out the last episode of power um that came out this past friday so yeah i'm gonna be uh putting it through his paces man and we're gonna just see what the battery's looking like at the end of the day hopefully you know it makes it through everything and uh yep so let's go ahead and uh get this turn on my first activity for this watch which is going to be an indoor walk uh so let's Let's see what we got going on. I'll check back in with y'all in a minute. All right, guys, first activity is done. So I'm currently sitting at 94% on the iPhone 16 Pro Max right now. And that was walking a mile uh, at a really slow pace. Uh, and it took what, maybe I don't know what well, 97 to 94 percent now uh watching a watching a video the entire time uh so 94 percent so far on the phone and 93 percent on the apple watch ultra 2 black satin all right so let's just continue with the day as usual i'm not gonna charge the phone we'll see what we got going later on today stay tuned all right guys so it is about 1 27 in the afternoon i just finished my second workout well my cardio for the day anyway and currently my phone uh is sitting at 86 percent And the Apple Watch Ultra 2 is sitting at 88%. Uh, so I think that's uh, pretty good so far. Uh, you know, I was doing a Stairmaster and I was watching a movie. Uh, I was using the AirPod, my AirPods and everything. And it was, I mean, I, I got to say, like, this is kind of a day, a day in a life, like, review of this phone as well as a battery test. But the display on this thing is beautiful. It's amazing. I mean, the... The sound quality just coming from the speakers itself sounds really, really good so far. And um, so far, the battery is actually pretty impressive. And I got to say, like the 6.9 inch, I can really feel that 6 point, the, the extra 0.2 inches, I can actually feel it. Uh, and it, I don't know, I'm going to have to take this case off because I have a case. Uh, it's kind of a thicker case, I think, around the bezels. So I'm going to have to take the case off. But I can say, just looking at it, I can see more of the screen itself. It does feel and look a tad bit bigger than the 6.7 inch. So uh, we're going to continue our testing, you know, for the battery and everything and just, you know, some other features and whatnot and uh, get back with y'all later on. All right, guys, what's going on? So the current time is 524. I just got to the gym, I'm weight training and 16 Pro Max is currently on 70, 73% right now. And in the Apple Watch Ultra 2, it's on 80%. So, with that being said, we're going to see 
We're almost towards the end of the day. We'll see what these batteries are looking like on each of them. And I gotta admit, I'm very impressed with the 16 Pro Max and this uh, battery at the moment. So I'll keep y'all posted. Also, at the end of the workout, I'm gonna be going to a sauna. And typically I take my phone and my watch in the sauna with me. So we're gonna see how the watch does with the Milanese loop and also taking a shower with it as well. Taking the phone in the sauna as well, but I typically keep the phone wrapped up in uh, a towel because it can't overheat just by itself. So I'm not worried about the phone as much as I am about the, the Milanese loop. And I wanna see how it does in the shower too, but I'll keep y'all posted with that as soon as I get to that portion of the workout, so. Let me go and get back to the workout. All right, guys. So it is approximately 9.22 at night right now. And my day is pretty much over. As you can tell, like I took you through my entire day, what I typically do in a day with my phone. And I particularly focus on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I didn't use my Galaxy Fold at all. Uh, typically I use that for consumption of media, you know, YouTube, uh, any TV series, anything that I watch during streaming, but I specifically made it an effort to use this device that I'm currently recording on right now and have been recording on all day uh, to just gauge how the performance is, the battery, and just see how it is on in a regular day. So uh, I took it through its paces. I did start off at 100%. First off, I'll say that the battery is currently on 58% at this point at 9.17. I started at 6 this morning. So that says a lot. It definitely is an all-day battery. Uh, like I said, I did everything that uh, you would typically do in a day. Streaming, uh, social media, scrolling, uh, FaceTime, calls, all of that stuff. I even took it, you know, during my workout, I took it in a sauna with me. And it it did pretty good. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. So uh, the phone is ending up on 58%. And the Apple Watch Ultra 2 that I have right here is on 70%. And as you can see from these clips right here, I took the watch in the sauna with me <laughs> and kept it on the entire... I was only in there 15 minutes, but took it in the sauna with me and went through the entire my entire workout i even took a shower in the watch afterwards just to really test out how this band is and the band has been pretty good i cannot lie like i i really enjoy this band but we'll have to see for sure you know hopefully it doesn't rust or anything like that which i don't think it will because apple you know they kind of marketed it so that you know you could be in water with it and wouldn't bother but it's still a stylish watch I, i'm sorry it's still a stylish band um so yeah, it didn't bother me during my workout. Every now and then though, it can kind of pinch some hairs. So you just gotta be conscious of that. But overall, man, I think 16 Pro Max is a definite step up. If you have anything older than a 13 Pro, I think you should definitely upgrade based on the battery life, uh, based on the performance of the S18 Pro chip. Uh, and also the new display with the 16.9 inch display. The real screen real estate is great. It feels good in the hands. Um, and I think that you all will be very, very happy with it. So, I mean, that's pretty much gonna be it right there. If you guys have any questions, please drop them down in the description below. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on your bell notification so you'll know when I'm posting videos. And I will holler at y'all in the next one. Till next time, man. Peace.